In creating this special laminitis focused series, SEIB insurance brokers and Denji horse feeds delve into the world of laminitis and the various links and triggers associated with this painful and debilitating condition. As the spring grass literally springs into action, it's crucial that owners review their horse's diet ahead of the spike in grass sugars over the next few months. In this series, we're using Mr. Q, a 42 Connemara with pre-existing laminitic conditions, owned by SCIB's social media marketing executive as a real life case study. This little horse was diagnosed with laminitis back in September of 2021. We know the rise in overweight and obese horses and ponies is linked to the number of laminitis cases, as being overweight predisposes a horse to laminitis. Claire from Denji Horse Feeds will now talk you through the process of fat scoring this 142 Connemara and will weigh him using a weigh bridge. If you don't have access to a weigh bridge, then using a weigh tape is the next best option. So Mr Q is a fat score three. Um, his neck is not resting. He's got nice definition of his shoulders. His ribs are easily felt and his rump is nicely rounded with no gutter. Mr Q weighs 453 kilos. Everybody has regular access to a weigh bridge, so we can use a weigh tape to monitor changes in weight. There might be some discrepancy between the weight on the weigh bridge and a weigh tape, um, depending on your horse's confirmation, um, but they're still a useful tool um, for measuring changes in weight. So we're now going to weigh tape Mr Q. We want to make sure that he stood up on a flat surface and stood as square as possible. Ideally, we want to weigh tape at a similar time of day by the same person with the same tape and ideally we'd be looking to do this on a fortnightly basis alongside fat scoring your horse to monitor changes in their condition. Make sure the weight tape's positioned correctly. So we'll pass it over his back. And around his shirt. So the weight tape wants to be at the base of his withers and maybe on a slight angle. So this weight tape, we read off where the arrow is and the weight tape puts him at 396 kilos. Now that we've established the weight and fat score of this horse, we're going to dive into the minefield of feeding a laminitis prone horse and choosing the most appropriate product that is high in fibre and provides low levels of sugar, starch and calories. When selecting a bucket feed, we need to look for feeds that are low calorie, high in fibre and low in sugar and starch. There are a number of products within the Denji range that would be suitable for a laminitic prone horse or pony. The High Fi Molasses Free is Denji's lowest calorie sugar and starch feed. It combines a blend of straw with alfalfa and some has, it contains pellets and some herbs. The Healthy Hooves Molasses Free is a complete feed, so it's balanced with vitamins and minerals. So when fed at the recommended feeding rate, will provide a balanced diet. The Hi-Fi Light is really versatile. It can be added to the bucket feed or fed as a low calorie hay or grazing replacer. And the aim when selecting a feed is to ensure that we're providing the nutrients that the grazing and forage are missing. So topping up the vitamins and minerals and quality protein. So Mr. Q is fed the Hi-Fi Molasses Free. He has a scoop twice a day alongside our performance bits and mins. Weigh your hay to ensure that we're feeding the correct amount for your horse to encourage weight loss. Eating hay can help to further reduce the calorie and sugar content. Soaking for up to 12 hours in colder weather, but when it's warmer, we would reduce that to two to three hours. Now let's take a closer look at grass and grazing. It may be necessary to remove overweight or those prone to laminitis at key times, such as flush of grass growth in the spring or autumn. 
Restricting grass intake can be through strip grazing with electric fencing or a track system as well as a grazing muzzle. Or you could turn a no grass area such as a wood chip or sand paddock. These allow interaction and movement which are beneficial for health and welfare. Denji have created a laminitis risk calculator to help you identify some of the other factors that could be contributing to an increased risk of laminitis. The launch of Denji's handy new web tool coincides with them partnering with vet partners to raise awareness of equine obesity. The Healthy Weight, Healthy Horse campaign provides support and management advice for owners of overweight horses to help them get back into shape with a series of talks and weigh-in clinics. If you would like personalised help and advice, call the Denji feed line on 01621 841 188 or visit their website for further information.